This is our Mantis Archery app. It goes on your compound or recurve bow and we're developing things for your crossbow as well. How it works is we mount it on the side of our bow there and it tracks all of our motion all the way through each part of our shot. So this is actually Brady Ellison's data. So he started with his recurve low. The blue is him beginning his setup, bringing the bow up. Green is him completing the draw and finishing that setup coming towards the target. That yellow is actually when he got onto target and the orange is his hold before the release. Now we're actually scoring you on how steady you are with that hold before you release the arrow. That white X is when you release the arrow and the red X is actually when the arrow left the bow. So we're able to see the difference in orientation when the arrow is actually leaving. And the red is our follow through. We can go through, study each shot individually, hit play, and it plays it back at live speed. We have timestamps here, so we're able to see exactly how long we were in each part of our set or each part of our shot. We come over here, we're able to break down just our setups. So out of these six shots, we're able to see it lays it all directly on top of each other so we can see how consistently we're doing the same thing with all of our setups. Come over here to our holds, shows us where we came onto the target, where we're holding before we release, and how consistently we do that same thing. And then our releases, once again, go through, study each piece of the information, and we're able to see consistency is the name of the game. So we want to be trying to replicate the same shot every single time. We can then come over here. We have all of our pitches and our cants, so we can see if our bow is in the same orientation every time we go to take a shot. And we have our placement, so we're able to go through, drag and drop each one of our arrows. So at the end of the day, not only do we have our scores, but we also are able to see if we're clustering to the right or left that day, and what we need to be addressing next time we're at the range. If you want to find out more, go to mandisx.com and we can fill you in.